let's just take it easy for today. And tomorrow, we'll be leaving Marland? Yeah, that's the idea. Why? What? Why? Huh? A seraph? So you are with this one. Why aren't you staying in Marland? What is your problem? Silence, brat. I'm asking the shepherd. Why are you throwing away the name you've earned for yourself from saving this town? Why throw yourself away like this? We've done all we can here. And I have more to learn elsewhere. That's all. How odd. You too. <laughs> Who are they? I don't know. But this means there are other humans who dwell with Seraphim besides me. Though they're assassins. Well, I say the hell with them. The more important issue is where we're headed next. Thought about it? I have. The Rolands Empire. Splendid idea. Hellions and ruins alike know no borders, after all. Trail. So, that was Lucas and the Woodsman, huh? They sure are a funny bunch. It seems people form bonds in more ways than I realized. Their logic makes sense, though, if you buy their premises in the first place. Those who give themselves completely to what they believe in are all the more pure for doing so. It's true that I felt no malevolence from them. You mean malevolence doesn't spring merely from the distinction between right and wrong? Even a villain might not bear any malevolence, specifically because they believe so thoroughly in their villainy. Yeah, man, this malevolence stuff is tricky business. Well, be assured at least that it's a very good thing you're so concerned about it. I think it's good too, Saray. Though it's a fine line between pure and naive. Can't argue with you there. Ah, this is making my brain hurt. Saray, let us give our respects to Rohan and the others. Right, good thinking. <sighs> Lady Lila, you're back! You folks done fixed this place right up! Little by little, people are coming back to worship the Great Tree. You can trust I will do my part as well. That's good. We can take our leave in peace. Huh? Aw, no, y'all are running out on us? You take care, Attack. I, I'm staying behind. Huh? After all, we need to find someone to properly give tribute to Rohan. Alicia. You don't mean... And I have to report to Lady Lake about what happened in Marland. Things with the Council have just settled down, and if you're with me, you'll just get wrapped up in it again. I would love to continue our travels, but I... Well... Thank you so much, Alicia. Same to you. For everything, Saray. Get a room, you two. It's not like you won't see each other again. I shall do my best to work toward a highland with no malevolence. And I'll keep chasing my dream.
Safe travels. Y'all come back now, you hear? What's that? I... I have a message. It's urgent. Hey, hang in there! The Empire... The Roland's Empire is attacking! What? So the war has begun. Please! Pass the warning to the people of Marland. I have to get to the capital. You're injured. It's too dangerous. There's no time to waste. Be careful. Don't do anything reckless. Thank you. We'd better go tell everyone. All right, you bums. Play time's over. Let's go show those frou-frous in the capital what we're made of. Yeah! <laughs> I'm going. Yeah, I couldn't live with myself if we let these folks just run out to get slaughtered. You mustn't! If the Shepherd enters the heart of battle, the camp he extends his help to will surely be victorious. So what, we just sit quietly and watch? Yep, it's up to the Earth Dwellers to figure out some sort of compromise with each other. But with the Shepherd's power, I know I could save people. You might save the people of Highland, yes. However... The people of Rollins wouldn't be so lucky as the flip side. Correct. That's the nature of war. War knows neither justice nor malice. The power of the Shepherd greatly shapes the world itself. Were you to enter the war, there's no telling how warped it could become. All right. I do want Lucas and his group to take refuge along with the villagers. Will that be okay? Yes. Then let's talk to Lucas at once. They sounded like they were getting ready to leave any second now. Okay. Lucas, I'd really like you to seek refuge along with the villagers. Like hell! The battlefield is where we earn our living. Besides, we just helped rebuild your town here, no? You really want to see Roland's tear it to pieces? I'm just worried about all of you. Hmm. Please. Fine. We'll pull back beyond the Grifflet River. It's a damn shame. We're just gonna abandon this town right when it was getting its punch back? We both know what's really important. Hmm. I can tell I'm no match for this herder of sheep. Change of plans, you bums! We're taking the townsfolk to safety, up north, across the Grifflet River. Get your preparations in order. Thank you. You'd better get ready yourself. The bridge still isn't fully restored just yet. We'll probably have to go ahead and set up camp by the riverbanks. You got it. Ray, don't forget about the library key. Oh, right. I need to return it to Nath. Nath! Oh, Soray. I came to return this. It's from Agatha. The key to the library. Thanks and sorry to trouble you. When I grow up, I'm going to be like Maltran. I'm going to be the second blue Valkyrie. Boys can't be Valkyries, dummy. If Maltran's teaching anyone, it's gonna be me. She's not gonna teach you. 
Your clothes aren't even blue. They will be once I finally get my mom to buy some. Someone's popular. It's because Lady Maltran actually comes from Marland. She only became heir to her line when all the other successors passed away. And while her sense of responsibility was second to none, she was quite a frail young girl. She has trained herself very rigorously. And now she is the Blue Valkyrie. So they're opposites. What? Nothing. He just clarified something for me. <laughs> I don't really get it, but I'm glad I could be of help to the Shepherd. I had one more thing I wanted to ask. Have you heard of Irish Gems? Irish Gems? We have one. I just enshrined it in the sanctuary as an offering for the town's restoration. Can we borrow it? There's something we're investigating. I wouldn't dream of refusing the Shepherd. Thank you. Nicleo, what do you think it means? The king was handing a sword over. Pretty clear that it was some formal military ceremony. And I imagine the person receiving the sword was a general. The uniform would suggest a general of the Roland's Empire. It's hard to say exactly when this took place, though. Whoever he was, he sure looked like a hero. But what does it mean? It's not like that's a particularly uncommon type of scene, historically speaking. If we could see more, we might get a better idea as to why this scene showed up. Do you think there are any more? I don't know, but let's try to find them. I mean, hidden glimpses of history? How cool is that? Was the author of the Celestial Record a village chief? It looked like he was founding a village or something. Hey, Miglio, I was wondering, you don't suppose he was a shepherd? If the shepherd was the one who wrote the Celestial Record, a lot of things start to make sense, and... Hmm. Miglio? Oh, um, sorry. What did you just say? Whoa, I've never seen you space out like that. You feeling okay? Oh no, poor Siglio. Nice. Not nice. No, but seriously, you all right? Should we sit down for a bit? I'm fine. I just got caught up in my thoughts. <laughs> for some reason. Good on our end. 
What say you, Shepard? I am Commander General Landon of the Highland Army. Is the Shepard with you? That's me. You, huh? Does your business with the Shepherd really require so many troops, General Landon? You're that sellsword Lucas of the Shrub Boys, aren't you? Just as well. You listen up, too. I bring word of Lady Alicia. On suspicion of using the Shepherd to foment discord against the state, as well as assisting the Roland's Empire with its invasion, Lady Alicia has been detained. That's nonsense! Alicia would never do such a thing! It is not an arrest, Shepard. Merely an interrogation. Well, this certainly stings to high heaven. <sighs> but if the Shepard were, say, to wield his power to deliver victory to our troops, it would likely assuage any suspicions we might have. Why, you... <sighs> Saray, let us do as he says. We probably don't have a choice, if Alicia were to die at their hands. Yes, we all know Saray would blame himself for it. And if that were to happen, even someone like Saray could become corrupted by malevolence. That's it, right? If the Shepherd is corrupted by malevolence, it will guide the world to ruin, faster than even war could accomplish. The sooner we end this, the better. We can make this work, after all. You've got us with you. If I fight, do I have your guarantee Alicia will be released? If you bring us victory, then yes. We're coming too. Sorry, but it just ain't in our blood to turn tail and run. We swords have built up too much pride in too many battles for that. Very well. But I'm in charge here. You had better not forget that. So then, Shepard. I'll be waiting on the battlefield. Hey, cheer up, buddy. With the woodsman on the job, the shepherd won't even have to lift a finger. Saray, please hold All your right, head up you high. I told you, didn't I? Battle? You've got us with you. Don't get all stupid gung-ho about this war business, okay? Just do what you need to do to get this crap over with. Thank you, everyone. Are these things happening and this time we're against the humans and it's a war which makes it even worse yes we may hurt people during the process just trying to get them to stop fighting that may cause emotional pain for saray which in how could that be if that's true then the chance of a shepherd not being affected by malevolence is about as small as a pinhole that's what it means to get involved with humans and that is the way of the shepherd if only he could forget about Alicia like a snap of a finger. There's no way he can. I know. That's exactly why he became a shepherd, right? Yes. <sighs> I guess I need to prepare myself. We just heard. That's awful. Can't you just sit out this war? They'll use you for all you're worth, and when you're done, they'll still probably kill Lady Alicia. I'm going. Really? We all know that the charges against Lady Alicia are a load of hogs wallop. We're heading out to Lady Lake to petition them directly. That's right. Surely the Council will not be able to ignore the voices of so many citizens. So please, don't give up hope! Just promise you'll come back. We'll be waiting for you, gentle shepherd. Thanks, everyone. I'll be back.
so much about me. I'll be fine. Is that a monolith? So you came, Shepard. And Lucas? Setting up an ambush on the right flank. Come back here, Shepard. You will be leading the charge front and center with the... Hey, Shepard, obey my orders. Have you forgotten that this is my battlefield? What I have to do does not change. No matter whose battlefield it is. What can one brat like him even hope to accomplish? Have the Chancellors gone deaf? Come, we're going to... You're there, aren't you? Jump attack, even though it can't fly. Tiger Blade! 